Hello all my YouTubers out there. How are we all doing today? You know, this, I just have to get this off my chest. So this is for all those music producers out there. Now, I have been in the game for a long time. Very unknown as always, it's obvious. Being an unknown artist, it, it makes sense. But the thing is, I just can't get enough of this. Well, that's not to say that I like it because I hate it. But the thing is, when you go into a bar, it all ends up crashing, which sucks. But you know what also is annoying? Once you get really, really good and you get to wonder, you know what? Before, when I first started my first track, that apparently is still on YouTube called Baby. I mean, if you listen to it, compared to my recent track, it's just garbage complete. Who would want to waste their own precious time in life just to listen to that track? No one, because it sucks. It's terrible, but it's what I learned from the beginning. But now, since I got so much videos going through my mind of how to do things and what not to do and all that on YouTube and etc., you start to think and also think about how people made their tracks. Now, I still have this laptop. Let me tell you, this laptop that I still have, it's crazy. It's been with me for a long time. And when I first bought the darn thing, I asked the person in general, you know, I'm looking for a computer that's good, good at like really good stuff, like in orders to have music on. And yeah, he said, okay, there's a gaming computer, but I just had to get it because he's just like, well, it can also be good on what you're talking about with making music and all that. That is totally wrong. I regret buying this computer because, I mean, sure, it's probably like all computers that what I have now, but at least this ended up being good at the time because at the time I didn't have a lot of thought into making music as I do now. Thing is, I was messing around, not even adding it to the mixer at all, just placing it down, exporting it, and that's all. I didn't even, even if I did put it in the mixer, I didn't add like basically any of those like other plugins to make it more like ooh la la kind of a thing. But it's just, oh my gosh, it's just not good. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. So, Yes, I still have my computer laptop, but I'm hoping in the future to get some kind of desktop because something that has like, you know, those things that are boxes and it has those big, huge, wide screens that are looking like a TV, but it's a computer screen. The thing is that nowadays is the way to go if you really want to take your time even in the more music business because even that is better, a lot better than a freaking laptop. And you think if you want to first start out, sure. I mean, I get it. Laptops, like Dead Mouse said, you know, people nowadays could basically make something from their effing whatnot computer. Laptop. And that's all there is to it. But for Dead Mouse, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, let me tell you something else. If you watch his Twitch streams or anything like that, he has this whole thing that he probably spent millions of dollars on. Just saying, with countless really high quality top out the end computers where it's just like there's no issues, none. Have tons of gigabyte RAM, etc. Totally fine. But the thing is with a laptop comparing to a like to a freaking box thing, it's just the laptops are not always good. So of course, like me, there's always people like me that are trying to go on YouTube and thinking, okay. There's so many reasons. Maybe they say to always update like the DAW that I have constantly whenever you get a chance because they're always free. Meaning my FL Studio, of course, I don't know how it is with other DAWs. But the thing is, yeah, always updating it just so that maybe the CPU could be better. But let me tell you something. I've just updated it right now to this 20.9 or whatever it's been. It's about to be 21 or something because after the 9, you just don't want to put a 10. You want to put the next one, which is a 21. Fuck, crying out loud. Maybe then it will be a lot better for the CPU because right now, 
my, I looked at my task man, manager, whatever it's called, and da 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 da, very low, very low, very low. But the only one thing that's not very low at all, it says very high, and that's my FL Studio, because as much as they say to put it into a freaking audio thing, rather than a MIDI, you know, with all those long notes, and you could see how it was made, this time, I've accepted it where you know what i'm just gonna go the audio perspective maybe that's gonna help maybe it's just gonna be wonderful but my computer is just so bad that it just has to be the total opposite sure it lowers down the cpu rate and all that but really it just sucks because your computer is still fighting the battle it's just like if the computer had a cancer something. I mean, seriously, it's almost coming to the point where it's at its wit's end. Like, I've uh, reached my end, and this, I was at the point where it was so new. It was spanking new. It was so freaking new. And there was nothing to, you know, because it was just nothing, no, no viruses, no nothing but now, having it for so long, there could have been a lot of viruses, replacing, and all that, restoring, every, everything you try to do, it was just what have you. But the thing is, now, after all of that said and done over the many years since I'd gotten it, and still have it till this day, there's been some problems. And it's not necessarily the FL Studios' fault, but it's the computer because it's so old, it has all these other things going on. I keep on opening now the task manager and everything like that, but it just doesn't seem to be working. And so, that's why I came to a point of just realizing that I just need a desktop where a box would be the case. Because I'm sure that when I see people on Twitch streams, their computer is basically those boxes, right? Those boxes are what's up. And yes, a lot of you go towards Mac. You Mac users out there. I don't want to be the one that, you know, Mac sucks, but it doesn't really. It, Macs don't suck. They, they, they just, I just don't know how to freaking work those things. I might know how to freaking work an iPad tablet from the Apple company, but not this freaking, oh, Mac computer, because it's totally different from a PC. I mean, if my grandpa were to fix a PC, he'd just fix it for free. But if I had a Mac... He wouldn't have no clue how to fix it, so he would just like, say, you gotta have somebody else. Like, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. But seriously, that's the thing, right? Everything you do, as much research you do, as much videos you try to go through, it just never ends up working, no matter what you do. Maybe it does for a lot of people, and sometimes it actually does. But just for me, it's just gotten to a point where it's just, I can't take it anymore. Really, I, I'm i almost bored out of my mind while just waiting for something like to just say, okay, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just wait until I get the freaking desktop because I am just wanting to try to finish this track. And as much as I just want to put it out there just so you can all hear it. I just don't think it's done yet. And that's the problem. I mean, eventually there's going to be this demo testing out that's going to be on Twitch. And I really want to get into that. But I just can't because it's my my laptop just keeps on failing. And I just don't know why. But it just is because it's just so darn old. But, I mean, that's just that, right? Old things just eventually get old and they stop working anymore. They're not as good as they used to be. Let's face it. Technology is always good at time, at the time, but then eventually you do one slip up and then it's just like a total disaster because you gotta fix it and it takes up so much time and I know time is valuable, but seriously, you waste all those time, you sit wherever you're sitting right now and you're just letting time go by so quickly while the day keeps on going by and the next thing you know, it's nighttime now and then the next day comes and it's just like, what did I do all day? All right, I spent my whole day on my computer trying to make sure that this thing works and it just doesn't it just doesn't 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 and it's just a slap across the face just like wake up smell the coffee get outside do something because you obviously know that this is not happening this is not working you try so many times on youtube how many hours does it take before you actually find a good video that actually tells you the real basics of the whole thing 
How many videos? Just tell me. How many videos does it actually take before you realize that it's just never gonna happen? It's, you're just, you're just done. So you have to get something new. Because that's just the reality of it now. You just have to get something new in order to just, like, you just got to. Like, there's no, like, there's nothing. There's no ifs or buts about it. Like, seriously, I'm making, I'm not making this up. I mean, literally, if you thought for a, I mean, I'm just saying this for, like, producers like myself for crying out loud. But, like, really. If you were to say, okay, I'm going to spend my money on a laptop. Yes, that's basically, I don't know, 95% of us do that half the time, like with new ones. Like, unless we think, oh, no, I'm not going to get myself a laptop. I'm going to get myself a desktop because that's going to be a lot better. And then it's just like, oh, you're having problems with the laptop. Well, you know what? I'm not having any problems. No, 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 no. I'm not having any problems at all. Because you know why? Here's why. I got a freaking desktop and you got a freaking laptop. And then, comparison to the laptop to the desktop, it's just like, okay, you know why you don't have to rub it in my face every single time you say it, okay? I got the picture. But seriously, that's the thing. We all go down somehow and we go down hard. Because you know what? Laptops. Ah, uh, smacks across the face instantly. But uh, but I can dust up. Oh, that's the way to go. Why well, couldn't I have just thought of that? Of course, that more be pricey because apparently nowadays you look on freaking Amazon or something like that, and it's over two to three thousand dollars. Like oh, in the right mind, we just have that amount of cash instantly. It's just like oh, well look at this. I have that much money anyway. I should just spend it. Because then there's that. But then all of a sudden you realize, okay, now I've spent all my life savings. Well, basically, there's more about this place. But then all of a sudden it's just like, okay, now, okay, what am I going to do? Hmm, all right, I got to now buy the freaking door. Okay, we got to work some more. And then you get the door. And then you get the oh, uh, third parties or whatnot. Let me tell you something. Those third parties, they suck, okay? They might be great. I mean, honestly, they are the best. I'm not going to lie. Maybe they just don't suck. Maybe it's just coming out of my head. But, like, seriously, it's just, like, those third parties take up so much CPU. It's ridiculous. Every single video you see, they always say, third-party plugins. Oh, ho, ho, they take up so much darn things out of you. Like, it's just like, okay, here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go. And all of a sudden, it's just like, I open up just now, again, like, I recently just got the glue, and it's a mastering plugin, and I just had to put it on every single insert that I had, like, seriously, every single insert, and that just wrecked my computer, nowadays, it's just freezing, freezing, why did I do that, why actually did I even press each and individual lighting thing for all the inserts to be switched on, I don't know, I don't know, it just had to happen, and because of that, it just, you know, it, it's now frozen. No matter how many times I shut down my computer, it just flashes. Like there's just this quick white flash, shuts down, and all of a sudden, it's just like, boop, it comes on, everything's fine, and then I press the same thing again, and it just freezes once again. And I just hate it. That's basically what I'm saying. It's just I hate waiting this is like how long and i just want to make something happen and it's just refusing to do so like come on what is with this whole thing i hate it hate it hate it hate it i know hate's a strong word believe me it is true but come on we are like for producers with laptops we're in a crisis here so i mean there's only one way to go, and that's up. So I will grab a freaking desktop, and it's just like, yay, an unboxing video in the future. That's what's going to happen. Mark my words, it is. So, yeah. Anyways, I don't know if I said this already, but if you liked the video, do leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, because that would be amazing, just like you are. And also, also, also ring the notification bell. Um, and that would also help so you can get updated with these videos and more along the way. And producers, make this in mind that if you get a laptop, just know what you're getting into. Because really, 
it might in the future lead you to just pain and agony. Like you asked the question, why did I end up getting a laptop? Well, because it was affordable and it was just the better way to do it. And I have had a great time and now it's just a new upgrade. But anyways, enough said. Thanks so much for watching. This has been your boy, Jack Juarez, once again. And I will see all you wonderful people in the next one. All right. Comment down below. Cheers. Peace out. Be healthy. Be strong. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye for now. Huzzah. Mm-hmm.